What's going on, everybody? My name is Dresses Corpse, and I will be your operator today. Now, if, if you're, you're looking at this map and it looks weird, that is because I messed up, guys, and I tried to kind of play a different... Like, I, I just tried to play again before getting back to the recording, and I didn't think of the fact that you could probably only have, like, one profile. So, what I did was I went through the first four again, which turns out are always the same. And, uh, and I ended right when I got to the next, the next system. So we're going to take a look at what we've got here. Uh, I renamed my dudes so that there wasn't any like confusion. Uh, and we have, you know, the two extra ones over here, which are differently named. I think one was Paladin and one was something else. I don't remember. Uh, but as you, you can see here, I, I got a scan. I got that off of Orestes here. So we're in business with that. I don't have a whole bunch of Sonics this time, uh, but I found stuff that was already really close to breaking, which is weird. So I just sold it off. And I actually saw what happens when you hit the cap on scrap. It just doesn't give you any. So we're at 50 scrap right now, I think. Yeah, we're at 50 scrap, so I should probably use some before we go into the next ship. But looking here, uh, this is the first ship in the Tepron system, but down over here it is quarantined, so I can't even get into it. At least I don't think I can. Yeah, I need a, I need a quarantine bypass, so we're going to have to skip that guy, and uh, I think the first thing that I'm going to do is go down to this station here, because it's only, it only costs two to get to it, and I would assume that these will cost one to get, you know, or maybe I should go here and then one, one, uh, because if I go here, then I'm going to need one to get there and then probably three to get back or two to get back or something like that. Maybe we should go to, let's, let's check them out real quick. Uh, we've got one infestation type. It is a fuel depot. They're both fuel depots and they both only have one infestation type. This one's volatile though, which means I probably won't have a whole lot of time to explore Ada. So we're just going to go to Northrop here uh, because it's stable. Remember, I don't know if I talked about it in the last video, but the age kind of makes a difference. Um, like, if it's stable, then you won't have any random radiation leaks, but uh, uh, sometimes you can in the volatile ones, I guess. Everything else... Oh, and that ship is volatile as well. We're going to have to at least... And that one, that one's got two infestation types, so it's going to be kind of nerve-wracking to, to check out. But anyway, like I said, I really should use some of the scrap. So, I think... Because Ghost is my, my go-to guy, I'm going to increase his speed. And I think that's permanent. Like, I don't think that it ever goes away. I don't know, but I'm also going to increase Halcyon's speed. So we're down four, which is good. Uh, maybe I should take a look at some of my upgrades as well. We'll repair motion and we'll be good all right let's get in here and check it out one infestation type whole integrity is medium i don't know if that's very good but let's get in here all right scrap found in room two one infestation type uh it was a it's a fuel depot commercial distribution and it holds radiating equipment i don't know what that is but fix the food replicator on b-wing just a hiccup in the communicator firing crazy signals to the molecular assemblers no problem now though made myself an amazing slice of lemon meringue before little fellas are firing on all cylinders again don't anybody will complain blah 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 as fine as that pie i'll fire a report out to leyland when i get back up to engineering let them know their babies are all good and then we've got a like a quest type of thing here uh looking with theory index gray goo molecular assemblers reference requires further investigation so Gather further log data about molecular assemblers from space stations or fuel depots. I don't know if it actually will let me do that on this one. I might have to go to the next one. Also, forgot to set a timer, so give me one second here, and uh, we'll be good to go. Anyway, let's get in here and check it out. All right. Let's get Hitch out there and see what we can see. Now, hopefully my never getting burned in the first room is going to continue. This is going to be a very short video. Alright. 
Uh, we got fuel right in the first room, which is cool. I'm gonna close D5 because I'm scared. And then we're gonna gather. Is that? No, it's not one behind him. Oh, two, three propulsion. Wow. Oh no, it's just two. So uh, it's like a continuous readout. It does. You don't add the one and the two together. Okay. Let's check out what we've got going on here. Now this is where it gets really tense, guys, because I've never been on this ship or the space station. Oh, we got something already in room five. Room three is inconclusive, but we're in there, so I'm not worried about it. So let's go ahead and pop D5 open. Oh, let's scan first. All right, we got another scrap. That's why scanning is awesome. Let's get into the next room here. Dock A4 from schematic view to redock. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to redock. Nothing. Okay, so can't see what's in room two. But we know that three is clear, so I'm going to move Halcyon into the next room in motion again. Room two is inconclusive. That is not good. Okay. That is not good at all. So I'm going to move Halcyon back in. And I'm going to close D5, just in case something happens to Ghost. I don't want to have, you know, I don't want to lose two drones. So let's open D7. Get D7 queued back up. So that we, oh, there's a vent, though. Was there a vent in the other room? Oh, can't tell. Because enemies, as far as I know, can use vents. So we're going to go real slow here. Okay, all right. We're clear. So let's open D5 back up. And then we're going to scan. So we found one extra scrap and a vent. Okay. Now, I think that enemies that can use vents can only go to another room with a vent. I'm not sure if that's how it works. So what I'm going to do, because room 4 does not have a vent, we are going to try and get this guy into room 4. So open D9, and get D9 queued up again. Okay. So dude is trapped in room 4, there is no vent. So let's go ahead and open up D6 and see what we've got in here. Are, this place is smaller than I thought. There's a lot of airlocks, which means that those are the ends of the ship. And there is nothing in here. Nothing at all. So I guess that was done. That was quick. All right. But we did get a nice amount of fuel. Door six no longer responding. Oh, shit. Close the eight. Whew. All right, everybody back on the ship. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because he's breaking doors, man. I'm not I'm not into that. Let's <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> successful. Another successful scab or salvage. Okay. Uh, it takes two to get over there. There's two infestation types on that one. Well, I want to hit this other fuel depot because we're actually on a roll. Oh, I got objectives. It, yeah, okay. So uh, the gray goo thing is, I guess, the quest that we are on right now. And uh, we need to gather log data about molecular assemblers from space stations to fuel depots. Uh, we've got a theory here. Given assumed advances in nanotechnology, molecular assemblers pose a definitive existential risk. If assemblers can create other assemblers, self-replicate, it's easy to see how quickly rogue or intended, oh, rouge, I, I think it's supposed to be rogue, or in, <laughs> otherwise it means red, uh, or intended process could transform matter at an exponential rate. It follows that such a process could be detrimental to humans directly if we ourselves are deemed an acceptable source material, or indirectly if anything which we rely upon is deemed an acceptable source material. Excerpt. So, um, it says to gather further log data about molecular assemblers from 
space station to fuel depots. So we've got another fuel depot here. So might as well go to it. It's problem is it's volatile. So I don't know how long we're going to have. So I'm going to have to keep everybody kind of close to the, the airlock, the ship. But we're going to go see. Now before we do that, oh, that is not what I wanted. We're going to check on the... Okay, 1.59 is not bad. And we're only up to 37 scrap. We didn't find a whole lot of scrap there, so I think we're good. I don't have to use anything for no reason. All right, let's get in there. Huh, maybe I should heal up one of those dudes and give him a generator. Nah, we'll, we'll wait on that. Okay. It's volatile because it's old. Class 3 chemical compounds. Stop dwelling on it, man. I get complaints like this every day. Filter in, filter out type of stuff. I had a complaint from Blah saying he'd stomach he'd a, he'd a stomach ache after eating three slices of cake from a replicator. Three slices. The guy's blaming the assemblers. Do you know how many dead rats they find on vessels every day? You've got nothing to worry about. Just a bored scientist in space. Record of public hysteria relating to technological advancement. Ha ha, yeah, I get you, man. I know you're right. We made it. Uh, we made it that they could turn a brick of sludge into whatever they want for dinner. I even hear we're close on our first cured disease. Quality of life stuff, you know? They don't get how much better everything. Remember how bad freeze-dried ice cream was? Uh, relevant to Grey Goo due to mention replicator and assemblies, or assemblers. Submitted to supplemental. Unable to determine further course of... I guess it's, that's all we get. Can I scroll down? No. All right. So it... It appears that maybe we don't actually have to find it. I, like, I thought you had to go to interfaces and find stuff. Maybe you just have to go there and you'll get the records. Because I think that added to it. But, let's get it done, guys. Let's degauss a little bit there. Please don't make me a liar when I said that it's safe. The first room is always safe. D28 is already open. That's That's balls. All right, we're gonna close D28. Also, being that there's doors all the way up to 28, this place might be huge. And we haven't gotten a uh, message saying that we need to hurry up yet, so that's good. Get everything in here and move three. I don't know what room, room two. And now that he is in room two, we're going to motion. Oh. Motion three. Okay, we've got something. Room two is inconclusive, and... That is probably the... The door on the other side of D18 is inconclusive. See how it's moving slower. So whatever room is behind door 16 has a bad guy in it. So... I'm gonna open D28 and go down into room three. I'm gonna get door 28 queued up just in case I have to beat a retreat. Oh, there's a excellent. All right, let's interface with that. Let's see if there's a survey. No survey, but we do have defense. Unfortunately, I don't know where the defense turret is. Nor do I know what rooms those are, so I don't know. And like, there might be doors on the other side of those rooms and stuff too. So, um, room four might be balls. Let's go into whatever's behind door seventeen. And once again, we will get it queued up again in case I have to run the hell away. Now the scary part, guys, is that sometimes there are hostiles that move super fast. Like as soon as they see you, they just zip to you, which you've probably seen in my intro. So they don't really give you a chance to get the hell out of there. Okay, so the defense is there. I need to figure out where the next power inlet is. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get three down to, what is that, room three, and motion again.
Oh, they're both inconclusive. Are you serious right now? Okay, well, that's not good. At all. Because that means that there could be something in room four or whatever is behind door 18. And I can't even open door 27 to see if something moves into room four because it's inconclusive. All right, let's get three back out here. And we're going to, uh, we're going to try and be Billy Badasses and see if we can figure something out here. So let's, yeah, I get it. Q door D18 up. What? Oh God, are you serious? I don't like that at all. Door 19 is now broken. Well, room three was not inconclusive. So let's wait for a second, see if anything moves into room three. No, I think it, I think room four might be okay, but why did the door just break? Is it just because the place is volatile? Oh, let's see, this is getting, this is getting crazy. Let's get in there. Real slow. There's a defense turret. Okay, there's two defense turrets then. But I still have... Oh! Oh! Okay, alright. This is where... Ah, oh, but I can't close... Well, uh, the defense turret will not attack me right here. So let's interface. Turn the defense on. Please don't kill me. Okay, now we're going to open door 27. See if anything wanders into that room. I think we might be okay. So then let's also open door 15 and wait. All right, I think we're all right. I'm gonna turn the defenses back off and go explore those. Got another generator. That's good. So what room is this? Room six. So we're going to remote R6 and that is powered all kinds of stuff. But that doesn't really help because the the interface doesn't power that defense turret in room five yes it does excellent let's close 27 and let's open up 25 and get that guy down there uh, but I don't want I don't want to kill him in the doorway so Come on move move sir Move you know you want to Got him Okay, let's uh, let's turn him back on now let's open D13. Let's see if anything wanders in that way. You know what? We'll do it like this then. Let's see if anything wanders in from D14 as well. I think room 6 is, is inconclusive, so that's not really helping. Was room 8 inconclusive? It couldn't have been. Let's just do it this way, and we're gonna wait for a bit. Okay. All right, so we're going to defense off again. Uh, close 13, open 25, wait for him to move in, because I just don't like killing him in the doorways, because then you can't close the doorways. 
There we go. Okay, so just for my own peace of mind, we're gonna do all this again and wait. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody else is coming. So let's get in there and check this stuff out. I'm gonna close 14, 13, and 12 just because I'm going to be exploring those areas. So let's, defenses are off. Yes, they are. Let's scan. Nothing. Should be two dead drones. Yeah, there's a lot of dead drones in here. Okay. We're going to go into room eight. There's another interface there. All right, no scrap. Let's check this interface, see what we got going on here. I would like a survey. No, nope. no survey. Okay. All right, I'm going to open door 12. Nothing wandered out of this room into the other room. So it's probably safe. It seems safe. All right. Nothing. I cannot power 21. So let's go back. I haven't found any vents either, which is good. Let's try 13. There's another power for remote power. And some scrap. Also, I hear a noise. You guys hear that, right? Do you guys hear that? Okay. Well, I have to power down room 6 if I want to power up room 10. So let's do that. Oh, that actually doesn't help me at all. Uh, let's, check, let's check out 14. Let's check out door 14. Let's see if it's worth it. Oh my god, there is power everywhere here. Power inlet and access terminal. I really need a survey. Interface is not powered. Alright, well, we can fix that. What room in or 11? Still no survey. You know what? Let's close these doors. Uh, because they won't be powered, so I won't be able to um, escape through them anyway. And I want to be able to actually you know, if, if they're stuck open and something goes... What the fuck is going on? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, let's get three over there in, in, mo in motion. Oh, fuck. That closed D20. So I'm not going to be able to get into R12. Twelve is inconclusive. Or eleven is inconclusive, but we're in it. This room is clear. There's vents. Interface is not powered. Sounds like something's moving through vents, man. We have a vent in room thirteen. The interface isn't powered. And 12 is like just getting beasted down. Uh, shit. That was a bad idea. Three, you're definitely in the way, sir. I need to power that interface in 13. Yeah, room 12 is completely flooded. Seven was not inconclusive. And I think I've been in there. So let's nav three back to R2. So he's not in the way. 
and it looks like room 12 is going to be the only room I can't get into. Okay. Let's do 24. I can't get into 12 because it's flooded with radiation. I really want to see what's on the terminal in room 13. That doesn't fucking help. Okay. We're gonna try this. Is my way clear back home? Yes, it is. I don't like that noise. No, it's the same shit. Alright, we're done here, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, that was tense. Can't commandeer this type of vessel. Oh, it's a, a space station. I didn't get any fuel. It was probably in room 12. Balls. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Whoo! That was tense as fuck, ladies and gentlemen. But we got 11 scrap. We're back up to 48, and we have survived 24 days. Now that is all the time I've got, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, I guess we're gonna try try Wapiti here, but it's got two infestation types, which kind of sucks, but it's stable so I don't have to worry about crazy shit happening like what happened there. Um, but yeah, tomorrow uh, we're going to get to Wapiti and Northrop. Or no, uh, uh, Caracuncho, and then hopefully down to Peralta. Caracuncho is going to be a problem because we don't know how many infestation types there are, or what they are. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos of Duskers or any of the other videos I've done, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have anything to say, throw it down in the comments. Remember, I'm Russ's Corpse. I was your operator today. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you guys in the next video.